Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a KPI card visual like this in Power BI. So as you can see in the card visual here, it shows the sales number and profit number here. And if you see in the right of the number, we are showing the percentage increase or decrease with an icon. And below that, we are showing the previous month's number in this format. And if I change the month, this icon and the color will also change or the percentage change. So let me show you how to create this in Power BI. So let's start the video. So we are here in the new page. We have these two slices for year and month. And uh, let me show you the data. So if you see, we have the sales data having date, product, profit and sales. And we have this sales measure, which is just the sum of sales. So first of all, let's take a card visual and let's pull the sales measure, which we have. And let's do some formatting, like let's go to the call out values. So here in the values, it's 45, let's make it 22. And the font style, let's change it to Sejo UI Semi Bold. So this is done. And here sales is selected. So for sales, this display unit, let's make it not because I want to show it in this way. You can keep it as whatever you like. Um, the show blank as zero. In the label, uh, label looks fine. Let's increase the size maybe to 14. And yeah, this is done. Next, you can see this background outside the card visual so let's turn off that go to the size and style and here you can see this background let's turn off so you can see the background is off now and uh, yeah so this is good next let's go to the card option and here in the cards let's uh, select the shape as rounded rectangle and uh, let's keep it as 10 or whatever you like next uh, you can choose the padding from here either wide or narrow so if we select wide, the padding will be increased. And um, if I select normal, it'll be a normal sized padding. If you want, you can also add a custom padding and increase and decrease the padding from left and right. Just choose normal. And alignment, let's choose as middle. Background, let's uh, wide is selected, so let it be on. Border is fine. Shadow, we want a shadow, so turn on this. Yeah, so this is done. Next, we want to add the percentage increase and the last month sales. So for that, we'll have to create two measures. So let's uh, select this measure and click on new measure. And uh, from here, let's uh, say last month sale. So this still be calculate sales date add. Let's choose date. So we have a date table here. We'll choose date from that. And the interval will be minus one. And here we can choose month. Let's close this. So this will give us last month sales. We want to show this last month sales in a text format, which is versus this number last month. So for that, we'll uh, make it as a variable and say last month. So this is a variable for last month. And in the next, let's say return. And we'll show versus space concatenate with its ampersand sign and versus the sales number, which is uh, which is last month, but I want to format this last month as we want to add a thousand separate to the number. So let's choose this last month and add a thousand separate format. So for that, it's a hash, a hash has zero and close this. So this will give us the last month sales in the thousand format. Let's add an ampersand and uh, versus this last month. So for that, we'll add text again for last month and click on enter so this is our measure for last month sales which will show and we'll have to create one more measure so let's click on new measure here and let's say percentage change let's create a variable for sales which is just the sales measure next the variable would be for previous month so that will be again calculate sales date add date well minus one month so this will give us the previous month sales. Uh, let's add a variable for percentage, which will be divide current month minus previous month. And uh, let's divide it by the previous month. So we want this percentage change in a format. Let's format it. Percentage format, right? which will be format percentage. And this formatting will be plus 0.0% .0 semicolon. Minus 0.0%, 0.0%. Oh, I've used O instead of zero. So it'll be 0.0. .0. And uh, yeah, 
So this basically is if the value is greater than zero, it will be plus 0.0 percent format. If the value is negative, it will be minus 0.0 percentage format. And if the value is zero, then it will show in this format. So now it is formatted well. Next, let's use return. Maybe now we'll have to add an arrow icon as well. For that, we'll say if the percentage is greater than zero, we will lose this icon. Else, let's do a shortcut shift all down. Else, it will be 158 for the down arrow icon. So let's close this and enter. So this is our percentage change measure. Now let's use those two measures here sir. And uh, so for that let's go to the format pane and here uh, let's go to the reference labels. And uh, in the reference labels let's select sales and add label as um, this change. So you can see this reference label is coming below that value. For that we'll have to uh, select it as all in the series. And uh, you can see this option now position. So currently it's below callout. So we'll have to choose right of callout. And uh, we can turn off this type because we don't want the percentage title. In the value, let's make it intact. And uh, divider, we don't want this divider. So let's make the width as zero. So it's gone. Next, we can enable this uh, detail as well. So in the detail, we can add that last month text which we have created. So let's turn it on and uh, add this last month sales here. But we are not able to add what is the reason. Yeah, because we have selected all. So for the sales, let's select the label as percentage change. So value is the percentage change and this detail we have turned on. So in the detail, we can add this last month sales. So you can see this last month sales It's showing percentage then uh, showing last month sales it is not giving uh, it's not coming to the new line for that what we can do is again go to the series select series as all and now inside this reference table you can see this layout option here so in this arrangement currently it's row is selected uh, if you select columns you can see now it's coming to a new column and the vertical alignment upward alignment is selected let's select this middle alignment and uh, in the padding we can uh, so why we need this padding is see if we reduce this after a certain point it's not reducing so we can play with this padding let's make it zero maybe yeah so it's good now and uh, yeah so here we don't have dollar sign so let's go to this measure and add a dollar here and click on enter so now we have a dollar and uh, yeah so next what we want to do is we will have to color this when it goes up and when it goes down it should be red for that we'll have to write a measure and uh, that measure is simple so we'll copy this percentage change till here and click on new measure paste it uh, let's name it something maybe cf condition formatting and uh, so this is fine it's one percentage we have got it here and we'll write another variable or we can directly return this saying if the percentage is greater than zero it should be green and if it is less than zero it should be red so instead of uh, using if we can use switch and let's say true so if it is greater than zero it will be green if it is less than zero it will be red else let's make it gray color close this bracket and we are done so we have a condition formatting measure now we'll go to this reference label because we have to color this one. So reference label, let's select sales here. And we have this percentage change, which is this value. And we have this FX button. So click on this FX and format style, choose as field value. And here we can select that CF measure and click on OK. So now you can see this is green color because it's plus 12.3%. And if I change this month to May, it's Again, plus 16.1%. June, you can see it's minus 29.0%. So this is how we can create this kind of card visual. If you want to add another measure for any other like profit, you can just do the same thing for that measure by adding it. These are the books that I highly recommend buying that can take your Power BI skills to the next level. These three books can cover almost all the aspects of Power BI from DAX to Power Query to the overall Power BI dashboarding. You can find the link of these books in the description. Check them out if you want to level up faster.
So this is how we create this design in Power BI. I hope you have learned something from this video. If you have got some value from this video, do not forget to subscribe my channel. Till then, goodbye and thanks for watching.